Good evening folks and welcome to the Matt Becker video. I've got a bit of a night planned ahead. So my band members kicked me out of the band and they went ahead and formed a much better band called Rope Trick. Uh, they're playing tonight at Aurora in Providence so I'm gonna go watch that. Uh, but before I give you the video I just want to give you some skunk facts. The striped skunk is probably what you're most familiar with. It is called Mephitis Mephitis which essentially means stinky. The English word skunk has two root words. Uh, one's Algonquin and the other Iroquoian. Um, so the two here are Sagunku and Skangares. Sorry if I butchered that. Uh, but what's cool is that the Cree and Ojibwe word is uh, Shigak. And that's the root word for Chicago. And so Chicago actually means skunk land. So it's probably why Chicago stinks. Skunks are nocturnal. They live two to four years in the wild, uh, but they can live to up to 10 in captivity. Skunk spray can travel as far as 10 feet and can be smelled up to a mile away. The reason skunk spray smells is because it contains thiols, which are sulfur-based compounds. Uh, you can find them in garlic and onions. And interesting enough, thiols are flammable. Uh, so, careful. So, tomato juice doesn't actually eliminate the smell. It's just kind of there. It, all it does is really mask it. In order to get rid of a stinky skunk smell, you've got to break down the thiols. There's what create the stink. And you can do this by mixing together baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. That combo will combine with the thiols and change it into something else. Some people keep skunks as pets. Uh, of course, uh, many of them remove the stink glands, but owning a skunk is actually illegal in at least 33 states, including Rhode Island. Primarily, uh, skunks are insectivores, but they are very adaptable and they will eat uh, any sorts of vegetables. And lastly, skunks are polyamorous uh, and they'll have sex with multiple partners. And they typically breed in February. So when you think about uh, Valentine's Day, just think about all the skunks getting it on. So without further ado, uh, let's just see what else I did today. What is it, January 8th? It's uh, know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm shoveling snow. I've been very emotional lately. And on edge. I don't know why. Like, why is it so hard for me to do simple things? I struggle so much. And it's like, I know I'm an intelligent person. I've always just used my intelligence to be clever. And uh, through that cleverness, just get away with doing whatever it is I want to do. But sometimes I like legitimately believe in my own victimhood. Now remember people, just because it's cold out doesn't mean that that's indicative of some evidence against climate change. Look at my warm chin. You know, if it weren't for greenhouse gases, then the Earth would be a cold, desolate wasteland like Mars. We do need greenhouse gases. In fact, water is a very powerful greenhouse gas. Remember, climate is different from weather. Climate you shouldn't really be able to feel. Climate is just a longer term average of weather. So while you can feel weather, you cannot necessarily feel the climate. Or at least you wouldn't really notice the climate change. Testing out my new wide angle lens. You can see how much it adds. Yeah, it kind of gives a little bit more of a peripheral than you would expect. I 
I got a new debit card. I put the American flag on it. May we stay ever vigilant to the likes and subscribes.